All right, guys, we're going over NCLEX style questions or nursing exam questions related to diabetes mellitus. This is question number two. So without any further ado, let's go right into the question and dissect it little by little. Question number two. The nurse in the medical surgical ward is taking care of a diabetic client who is scheduled to have a thyroidectomy the following day. The client is taking metformin as a maintenance drug. The nurse knows that this medication should be withheld during which of the following events? Select all that apply. A, when the diet is resumed. B, 48 hours after contrast material has been induced. C, the day of surgery. D, the day of receiving contrast material. E, while MPO. Or F, hypoxic states. So let's go through these answer options one by one. And option A, when the diet is resumed. Well, if your patient is eating, then they definitely would need the medication. So this option would not be correct. Remember, every time you eat, your body turns this food into glucose, which would make your body need metformin as it helps the cells accept the insulin. Option B, 48 hours after contrast therapy. When patients are taking oral hypoglycemic medications, they need to stop taking these medications like metformin because this medication, in addition to the contrast, can cause serious damage to the kidneys. However, the medication only needs to be withheld for 48 hours. And this option indicates just that, that it is after 48 hours, showing that it is now safe for the patient to start taking his medication again, which makes this option also wrong. Option C, the day of surgery. When your patient is NPO, which is a medical abbreviation for nothing by mouth, it's Latin so it doesn't make sense in English, then you do not want to give oral hypoglycemics because they can cause a drop in the patient's blood sugar levels, making this answer option correct because indeed you would want to withhold the medication. In option D, the day receiving contrast material, remember in option B we discussed that it is important to know your patient must wait 48 hours before they take the medication after receiving contrast. So this answer option would be wrong and therefore a correct option. And option E, while in PO, like we discussed in option C, day of surgery, we do not want to take this medication on an empty stomach. This medication is always given with food so that it can help the cells absorb the insulin, helping your body not to work so hard to create new insulin. And finally, option F, hypoxic state. In order to answer this question, you have to know what hypoxia means. The definition of hypoxia is when your body is not receiving oxygen. If your patient is not receiving enough oxygen, then they are most likely not in any state to eat. Remember, back to the ABCs, which if you have not heard of this yet, you will hear about it a lot in nursing school. ABC stands for airway, breathing, and circulation. When these are affected, these are priorities and everything else can wait, especially a metformin tablet. Also, I just want to let you know, I'm not sure what schools are teaching nowadays, but the American Heart Association did change the ABCs to CAB, but only in the case of CPR, so you will see both of them. CAB, which stands for Circulation Airway Breathing, they changed it to this because during CPR you can oxygenate the body quite a bit with compressions, and hopefully this will help your patient return to ROS, which means return of spontaneous circulation. This does not totally pertain to the question, but I just wanted to say it as a side note, just to expose you to it a little bit. So the final correct answer options for this question are C, D, E, and F, because all are instances when metformin and metformin combination drugs should be stopped in the acute care settings. All right, guys, we really hope that you enjoyed that question. As you noticed before, this was more of like a pharmacology and situational type question. But remember, in nursing, you're going to see questions that are just totally off the wall. So let's just get used to it here so that when you do take your test, you'll be better off or the NCLEX exam. And anyways, hopefully you'll be much better off then. All right, guys. Like I mentioned before, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check back tomorrow. And even if you want immediate updates, sign up for email updates so that you can find out when the next question is posted right away. All right, we can't wait to see you until then. Love you. Bye.